that's the middle tornado. Recall if you've been watching us, Emily was on the lead tornado, which caused extensive damage down I-40, not to mention damage all the way back into, Creek, uh, into Cleveland County. Uh, and then there was a second tornado that was kind of in the middle, and that, tor that did produce a tornado north of I-40, uh, uh, northwest of downtown Shawnee, north of I-40. That tornado has lifted. Now, Reed Timmer, Reed Timmer is on the lead tornado, the lead one, which so far has produced the lion's share of the damage uh, with this supercell. And it still has a tornado on it, and it's still heading for Prague. Uh, Reed just checked in with us, and it is heading for Prague. So it is still on the ground heading for Prague. Now, this is still a very menacing circulation. Now, the back one, middle one's lifted. This is the back circulation. And there is a what could be easily a developing funnel cloud right there. And that is going to be uh, right over on the northern side of I-40, uh, northwest of Shawnee, near 177. John, you're live. Uh, looking at that live. What do you hey. see in that? Yeah, we're definitely seeing some lowering. Uh, that was actually what I thought was like the feeder band filling it in. And uh, you can see it's actually rotating uh, with it. It's, if we're looking at the ground, but if you look at the sky, you know, you have the, uh, the funnel cloud, let's say on your screen, it's an inch. About double the width of it is the, the lowering is actually all rotating. And that one piece is just spinning down uh, south. So this is definitely, uh, could be if it touches down a very very large uh, tornado here and this is going to be just over uh, uh, pretty much the heart of Shawnee here just uh, north of the airport there's uh, some water towers and that's about where that area is right there Mike. Appreciate that let's go to the stream uh, on the quad box uh, control we're going to take the quad box let's go to the stream that's in the uh, in the upper left yeah, let's look, let's look, Reed's in the lower right, Reed's in the bear's cage, the lower right, that's the, that's the tornado southwest of Prague, and then let's look at the upper left, let's take that full, I think that's Emily, if it is, that, that's Mark Dillard, can Mark join us here live, uh, Mark's in Shawnee, uh, tell you what, I don't think Mark, Mark is actually with us, he's in Shawnee, looking at that circulation, right around uh, Shawnee uh, currently. He's actually in Shawnee Hi, tracking. Uh, Emily Sutton's here with us, so Emily, go ahead, you're on. All right, Mike, if you can see on my screen, we still have a distinct lowering. I, I know we saw, we captured that second tornado for you. It was a very uh, uh, low end tornado, a rope tornado. Uh, but right now this still has lots and lots of motion. It's getting closer and closer to the ground, Mike. We are right on this. We are located just north of I-40. What road is this? Hey, I think we stand by. Who's that? It's, uh, Highway 8. Yeah. Highway 18. Mm -hmm. Highway 18. Is he? Just north of 40. Highway 18, just north of 40. And that's right where that circulation is going. Can you see it? Uh, we can't. We do see your stream. That's, yep. We're getting small pings of hail. This is the lowering. It gets, keeps getting closer and closer to the ground, Mike. We're watching it. This is the same one uh, earlier that produced one? rope yeah, tornadoes. Okay. Let's let's go to let's go to Mark Dillard. Uh, Mark yep. with an update from Shawnee. Mark, you're on. Go yes. ahead. Yes, Mike. We've uh, I think we've just lost some power over here on the east side of Shawnee. I'm at West Tech and uh, Harrison, which is Highway 18. The uh, the cir circulation center funnel is just to my south and and west now, uh, right on top of I-40. If it can tighten up, it, it seems to have a problem. Not it seems to have a problem, Mike. Even trying to tighten up all the way, it seems to just be drifting a little bit. Uh, it, it won't take much for it to do it. It just seems to be having a little bit of a problem. Uh, we hope that it can get past uh, the populated area here in Shawnee uh, before anything happens, if anything happens at all with it. But it just seems to be having a little bit. I've got I got uh, more scud coming in on the north side to it. It just seems to have a problem even trying to tighten up. But if it can. Uh, obviously, it'll drop a tornado, and in Paris, it's about halfway down as it is now. But uh, again, folks, in Shawnee proper, uh, this thing is uh, drifting right along I-40, uh, coming up to Highway 18. Uh, if you're in the east side of Shawnee, you want to go take your tornado precautions, especially on the northeast side of Shawnee, out towards the casino. Okay, Mike, just one second. Let me get uh, backed up here. I seem to have it kind of trying to turn in, maybe even... Maybe even trying to tighten up here, Mike. It looks like it's trying to slow up yeah. just a hair and trying to turn in on itself. 
Yeah, but, Mark, uh, Mark, I would agree with that. Uh, it's going to be over 18 and I-40. Let's go to the storm right. tracker. In fact, it, uh, it, might, it, might, it might try to tornado here coming up. Let's go to the storm tracker because it, you'll see the evolution here just in the past uh, 12 minutes. Okay, there it is now. Look how the hook's coming around. See that? The, hook, the curvature's coming around, the hook's tightening up. It's over 18 and 40, which is where the Shawnee Mall is located again, up there at, uh, on the northern side of Shawnee. And the circulation is strong but broad. It's strong but broad, and it's trying to tighten up. And you can see the way the hook is, is definitely coming around, the stinger's coming around, and that's what Mark's talking about right now. Let's go uh, tornado warning for, uh, for Creek for Lincoln and for Pottawatomie counties continues. Let's go back to uh, Bob Moore Chopper 4 with a look at that live from the chopper. John? Yeah, there it is, Mike. And uh, you know, that lowering is actually kind of raised back up a little bit and the, uh, the it's just downpouring heavy amounts of rain right there where that lowering was. Uh, so it could be an indication it's losing a little bit of steam. Uh, if Travis will pan just to the right, uh, just a little bit, you can kind of see some other scud lowering right there. It has a uh, little mild rotation in it but I think it's just uh, the actual inflow sucking into the storm. But uh, the second spot is actually rising. We're getting heavy, heavy downburst of rain that's right over uh, the north northeast side of Shawnee at this time. Um, so we're going to stay here, and it, at, at this time it's still rotating, but uh, it doesn't appear that uh, it's getting its act together. It looks like it's actually falling apart more than uh, condensing here, Mike. Appreciate that live update there from the chopper. Uh, still pretty good wind shear uh, on the eastern side of 18, uh, over on the northern side of I-40. That would be over the northeastern sides of Shawnee. Uh, doesn't appear to be imminent, but it is still pretty strong. It's just not really tight right now. Uh, latest report from Reed Timmer and our team of trackers, uh, two to three west of Prague, west southwest of Prague, a tornado trying to come down to the ground. So you folks in Prague, a tornado warning continues for you. It's that lead tornado, this one right here, two to three west of Prague, still has a low level lock. That's the lead tornado that, per, that, was, that was over a half a mile wide and was violent and was a wedge and a barrel and a wedge and a barrel. It's still on the ground or at least trying to come back down to the ground uh, from Reed Timmer and our team of trackers. So Prague, you folks in Prague, you need to be in your safe spot right now. Uh, it best would be below ground or out of the way or a storm cellar or basement, uh, but get the safest place you possibly can. I wouldn't take chances with it. It's had too much violent motion, too much violent damage associated with it, and it is coming directly into the town of Prague. Indication from Reed Timmer is that the tornado is trying to come back to the ground, and that was just about 45 seconds to a minute ago, and it was three west of Prague, so now it's about a mile and a half west of Prague or maybe a mile west of Prague. So keep that in mind for Prague. Tornado warning continues. Who is that? That's Emily. Let's go back to Emily's live stream. Emily's got a nice visual on this uh, wall cloud on the northeast side of Shawnee. Yes. Emily, go. Yes, Mike. We're on 18 and I-40, and wow, this has got its act together. It was just, you know, less rotation, but now look at this lowering. It's very well defined. And uh, we're planning on hopping on, on I-40, unless there's still a way that we can't. I believe that we can't still hop on I-40. We're going to follow it, and we're watching this very closely, very ominous lowering here. And, guys, I mean, just, what, 10, 15 minutes ago, we got a rope tornado. So this, obviously, is the environment where it can drop a tornado at any time. We're keeping a very close eye on it right now, Mike. Emily, what, what is your location right now? We're, uh, we're almost at I-40. We're on 18 north of Shawnee. On 18 north of Shawnee. Uh, uh, are, so are you literally just like coming up on I-40 right now? Well, we're heading south towards I-40, so we're looking off to the east. Okay, you're, you're going southbound on 18 toward 40. Is that right? Yes, correct, correct Mike. Okay. When, uh, how far north of I-40 do you think you are right now? How far north? How far north oh. of I-40? How you... far north of I-40 are we? Like uh, a mile. Okay. One mile. Let's stay with your if stream. That, if that. All right. Let's stay with your stream because you, you're likely going to cross the damage path. Okay. So, so let's take a look and see what we have because this is, this is that now whole. Now we're getting into the rain shield. This is that whole Shawnee Mall area that we're talking about uh, in, going? Yeah, in, going. in North Shawnee. So let's see what Emily has when she comes across here because... Spotters reporting debris falling out of the sky, one south of Stroud. 
one south of Stroud. It makes you wonder where that debris came from. Where, you know, if there's debris falling out of the sky in Stroud, it makes you wonder where that debris actually came from. If that debris came from, you know, the Shawnee area, which is possible, but Stroud has debris falling out of the sky. And as you know, Stroud's about 30 miles north, 30, 35 miles northeast of uh, Shawnee. So that could be the Shawnee debris falling out of the sky up in Stroud. So it keeps in mind, you know, the Turner Turnpike's gonna have debris on it that's been falling out of the sky from these violent tornadoes back, probably back in Cleveland and Pottawatomie counties. So oh. there's, there's debris falling out of the sky in Stroud right now. Uh, so Emily Sutton here, we're watching Emily's stream. Uh, we think, we believe there's a potential tornado now northwest of Prague just northwest of Prague, we believe there's a tornado potentially there. And then there's, there's significant circulation now uh, on the northern side of I-40, east of the Shawnee Mall. And there's a new tornado warning there for what, Fusky. Two, no, two and a half northwest of Prague, Reed Timmer on the ground. Uh, two and a half northwest of Prague. So maybe fortunately it has missed the town of Prague. It's two and a half northwest of Prague, tornado on the ground, and hopefully it has missed Prague. It is heading for Payton. There's a tornado warning now for Fusky County. Fusky County tornado warning. Welty Payton. Now, this is the one that's been a large, violent tornado. Emily Sutton here is in the immediate Shawnee Mall area. Uh, Emily, first of all, you know, what do you have weather wise right now, and have you seen any damage? Hi, um, Michael. We just got on I 40. We're heading east by Shawnee. You know, we saw that lowering earlier, and we've seen two tornadoes out of this uh, one very large tornado, and then that rope tornado. And then it was trying to cycle, didn't quite do it. But right now we're heading east. We have not seen any debris yet. But I will keep my eyes peeled for it as we're trying to follow the storm as it quickly races off to the east. That's good. That's, that's a really, really good report if you did not come across any debris. Uh, not yet. Not yet at 18 and 40. That's really very good news, at least right there at 18 and 40, because that tornado tracked very, very close to 18 and 40. And as of right now, Emily has not seen any debris from that initial lead tornado. Now she is tracking uh, still, uh, still, still eastbound. She is tracking that circulation right there. Let's go to Kevin and Linda live at the news desk. Thank and you very much. We're receiving initial reports mm -hmm. of perhaps the first fatality. Mike, you've talked mm -hmm. about how dangerous this storm is. Now, the Red Cross is confirming that they've received word of a fatality. We're trying to confirm the exact locations, but indications appear to put it around the area of Dale, Oklahoma. The people in that area are reporting that the earth has been scoured. No telephone or power poles up in, in a particular path through there, so they apparently got hit very hard. And that's what, uh, that is definitely the signs of what they call in the weather parlance the grinder, the big tornado that just tears up everything. Hate to hear that. We do know that the Red Cross is going through Edmond. Luther, surrounding areas uh, to, to deliver water and supplies, also in contact with Lincoln County, and also uh, search and rescue crews, we're being told, uh, are requested for the Shawnee area, and Emily might run into some of this as she travels east toward Shawnee. As you heard Reed Timmer say, there were some flipped vehicles in that area, and of course, when you're in a car and a tornado hits, it just throws you everywhere, and that could not be, that could be some bad news coming out of there. If you've been watching our live coverage for the past four hours or so, you know that these storms have been developing throughout the Edmond area and then moving north, northeast, sometimes more east. But the Oklahoma County Sheriff is asking you to stay away from Waterloo and Sorghum Mill Road. They have power lines down there. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get them up. But again, in all of these storm paths, please be considerate. Stay out of the areas unless you have business there so that emergency vehicles can get through. Uh, Lucky Lose can really clog up those areas and the emergency folks can't get to where they need to be as quickly as they need to get there. We're going to be giving you some